Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play RimWorld Jungle Tribals. This will be part 6 of our Let's Play. And uh, first and foremost, Happy New Year to uh, everybody. It uh, 2017 was a year. I, I don't really apply personalities and shit to years, so... I'm not going to say it was a good year or a bad year. I don't have a scale for that, so... Uh, why are we eating kibble? Could we not do that? Possibly? Okay, boomalope, we don't really want to hunt them. Oh yeah, we had the fire that ripped through here. Uh, yeah, most it's mostly grown back. You can see it makes uh, pretty steady progress on, on getting back to normal. Right, yeah, I need to hunt something. Uh... Is that a cassowary? Yeah, it's gonna... It's gonna try and murder my ass if I attack it, but that will have to do. Emu... Emus! Good Australian bird, that one. Uh... Okay, and we'll hunt these as well. And actually, we should absolutely friggin' harvest some food. Maybe, hang on, maybe we'll turn off this one. Not turn it off, but... This was last updated ten days ago. But... Why? Uh, our, is it Val that's our manager? Yeah. Can you friggin' manage, do your job? So we're not eating kibble, for God's sake? Are oh, you hunting with the peeler? I hear murder. Ah, the Monkey's getting eaten by the snake. Right. How are we doing on recurve bows? I had a job to make some. Uh, poor. Awful. Poor. Okay. Might hold off on that for the time being. Alright. Let's just speed this along and get him to make some food. Some actual meals would be nice. Nice, a lot of coconuts. That's a lot of coconuts. It might be worth setting someone else on uh, haul all the time. Maybe even someone that doesn't do much, like like you. Uh, although you're hunting at the moment, okay. Let's maybe not. How about you instead? No, you're a. Your crafter. I don't want to set it for a crafter. Not someone that's actually talented at it. What about you, Toad? Yeah, you do it. You don't do anything important with your life. Ah, oh, crap, are you hunter? Ah, shit, you are a hunter. God damn it. Uh. Okay, we'll get Squint to do it then. Construct a grow mine. That'll be okay. Val. Val. Okay. On the upside, when they get hit with these, these are like, wow, shattered spine. Holy crap. And it's only a bird, but all the same. Jesus. Okay, we got a pile of corpses. But I can't help but notice that we're not butchering said said corpses. Bren, what are you doing? Cooking for simple meals. Okay, that's fair enough. But what about Kuro? You're a hauler, number one priority. Uh. 
We need a hauling bot. Oh, Jesus, hauling bot for tribals is going to be interesting. Uh, who was that? It was Bren, right? No, Kuro. Okay. Memory's awful. Ah, uh, yeah. Butcher, please. Because we have our thing set up, our freezer. Okay, good. Kuro's getting through those bodies. Because it's kind of a waste to have to set up a, um, a freezer body storage as well as a freezer food storage. That's that's a sign that you have crappy uh, crappy priorities. Because really, you should just cut them. Uh, really, you should just like cut them up as soon as they go into your into your stockpile. There's no reason to keep a body around, barring the fact that they take up less space. I mean, like it's a bit it's a bit of a stretch. In some situations, like if you're hunting, say, buffalo or elephants, that's a good reason to to have a frozen body storage, because uh, an elephant corpse takes up one space, whereas the, the meat from an elephant probably takes up, like, four. I think it's about four spaces. So that's, yeah, you know, more efficient to keep the bodies and, and cut them on demand. But with the stuff we're hunting, like cassowaries, emus, monkeys, they don't provide that much meat, so it's not a big deal. You know, you can, like, eat and stuff. I didn't mean just do that exclusively. Okay. Whatever. Uh, don't we have... Do we have free beds? Friend, squint. Ah, right, we're still constructing a couple of superior beds. Ah, right, Billa, what are we doing with you? I don't remember. Chat and recruit. Because, yeah, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good character. 15 indoors, nice. Yeah, that has real problems keeping everything cold because of the bamboo walls. That sort of sucks. I have a lot of kibble. Maybe we don't want 200 kibble. How much does this make? Uh, right, it doesn't tell you. Can I just say I want 150? It looks like I might make around 300. Sorry, it makes around... Makes around 150 a, a pop, so when my thing was set to 200, it would make two 150s, which would get to 300. Is it corn harvest festival time yet? I know we, uh, we, we're harvesting the corn, but it's not a harvest festival, right? Uh, do 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 no. Wow, that must have been close. It's just about to have a drink. Ooh, blocks. Yes, 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 yes. Actually, I want this hold urgently. I want that here. What are we researching? Soil Reclamation. That's right. <laughs> 5,000, man. So I haven't played this for like a week. Which is why I don't know where everything's up to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Refrigerator. Oh, not refrigerator. Never mind. Well, I said refrigerator. I was like, what? How's that refrigerator? There's nothing refrigerating in here. Wow, our stockpile is full. Uh, it's full of bamboo. Maybe we should. Okay. Ah, that's a stone cutter's table. Where's our sculptors? There it is. Let's make some large sculptures out of only bamboo. 
So do until you have like 10. Yeah. How many artists have we got? Three. Yeah, I was gonna say someone's gonna be able to do it, surely. Tony, you have tattered apparel. What is it, boy? You have a mesh shirt that's tattered. Well, don't wear a mesh shirt, I guess. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. I'm not even going to question why you're wearing a mesh shirt, but you know. Uh, Tony and Chicken are nude and not happy about it. You don't have pants. Yeah, you don't have pants. Why do you not have pants? Because we're making them right now and it's not getting done. There is a lot of, uh, a bit of a workflow problem here, I believe. God, that corn is still out. What are you doing? It's probably the joints that are causing this workflow problem. What's wrong with this cobra? Son of a bitch, it's into my tea. This will not stand. Yeah, Val's on it with the body peeler. God, if you hit it with that, it's just gonna die. There'll be nothing left of it. If you hit it, it's gonna take 20 years, though. Oi! Oi! Oi, oi, oi! You know what? We're gonna train you for obedience. And for hauling, now that I think about it. Right. I didn't want to do this. Because what are you, unrestricted? Um. Yeah, unrestricted. <laughs> okay. This is a really annoying thing to have to do. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to new animal area. Call it unrestricted, but and I'm gonna say. Oh, actually, can I go? Hang on. Um, shit. How do I do this? It's zone invert. Yes, that's what I want. But don't you? Dare go in here. Does Kibble go off? No, it doesn't. Okay. So, you can go anywhere you want, but I'm going to set a Kibble stockpile somewhere. Uh, you know what? Let's just set a little Kibble stockpile here. We'll just go stockpile zone. Uh, preferred priority for Kibble. Actually, you know what? Let's set it to uh, important. Yeah. Uh, stab recurve bow. Oh, recurve bow. Right. Yeah, because I still want most of it stored here, but I want a special bit stored there for the dog. So it stops coming in and eating my food. Son of a bitch dog. There's perfectly good kibble, and it's like, no, nah, I'm gonna eat the raw corn. Who does that? What kind of animal does that? What kind of dog does that? Weird ass bloody animals. I guess it's my fault for letting it run wild, but. Whatever. Fix now. I don't know if I like. Wow, it's really windy. I don't know if I like how that sort of occurred, but. What are you gonna do? Uh, we're out of wood again, aren't we? No, we got heaps. Stockpile's not big enough. Uh, we're gonna have to set up another one, aren't we? Okay, this is marshy soil here, right? So that's good for nothing, basically. So what if I set up a stockpile like? Ooh, that's dangerous outside him, though. Uh, no, not true. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So a big, like... 11 by 11, sounds good. 
we'll put some supporting pillars in the corners somewhere that, that I can fit. Like there and there and there. Th this is ugly and I'm sorry, but it's fine. Uh, okay, I want everything but weapons in that one. It's because you haven't had a trader in so long. Like, we have so many p clothing pieces. So much junk. We need a trader to come through so we can just offload it. Alright, we were maybe going to pick that up, but yeah, we're not going to do that now. Way too dangerous. Way, way, way too dangerous. Probably wouldn't even make it there, would we? Six spies in two days. Oh, we can get there in point eight. Uh... We could risk it for the biscuit. We could risk it for the biscuit. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. What are our actual capabilities for attack? Okay, recurve. Knife club, not great. Bow, bow. Equa, bow. Actually, you know what? That's not terrible. Um. Hmm. I'm thinking. We should probably leave someone behind. I mean, we're only going to be gone for a day. What if we leave Tony behind? Actually, no. Let's leave Val behind. Okay, everyone except Val. Okay. Items are uh, you're gonna need food for at least I don't know two days. Not. We'll go a bit over two days. I like how it goes up and down because that makes sense. Like 1.9. Yeah, 1.7, 1.9, 2, 2.1, 1.8, 1.9, 1.8, 1.9, 1.8, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 1.9, 
it's going to be kind of annoying because when someone else gets back, you're going to have kind of ruined the order of things, but... But whatever. Because you're a good artist, aren't you? Eh. You do the job. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay. Let's check this out. Jen, what do you actually like? Kind, night out, and capable of none? Wow, actually you are a goddamn amazing pick. So let's get a sleeping spot, a medical sleeping spot. So everyone head here, but Chicken, I want you to rescue Jen. Now I've never done one of these before, so I don't know how they work. I can't remember whether it's like something is here. Uh, like, ready to attack you, or it attacks you later. I think they might attack you later. Alright, who's our best doctor here? It is... probably Toad. Rissa, are you a good healer? Eh, middling. So maybe we could get you to tend instead. Oh, wait. Hang on. Who's got the friggin... Inventory. Kibble. Herbal medicine. I'm gonna drop that. Right. Toad. Prioritize tending to Jen. There we go. Right. I have some cuts and bruises. You're fine. You watch. I should probably capture her. Acquaintance orange chicken. Not my favorite Chinese dish. <laughs> but, uh... Oh, not bad nonetheless. Is that what his name is? Holy shit, his name is orange chicken. Wow. I love it. I love it. I can't believe I've noticed that before. Um. Oh my god, you took kibble. Why? I didn't tell you to bring kibble. <sighs> yeah, hang on, because I have to. Cannot finish off Jen. She's friendly. Hmm. When can you walk again? Probably not for a very long time. Uh, can we reform the caravan? Hold up. See, we can't. Uh, deconstruct this. So that's gonna knock you on your ass. If I capture you. Oops. Yeah, okay. Carry Gen Herbalist and leave the area. That's what I want. Yeah, so just hang on a minute. We'll go like that. And then I'll also reform this caravan. With the herbal medicine, obviously. Okay, so then I can merge these caravans and send them home. Wait, what? Estimated time to destination two and a half days? Huh? Is it because of you? Why do I have so much fucking cubicle? God damn it. <laughs> God damn it. Um, hmm. Is it because of you? Because you can't walk? I'm assuming it is. Has to be. But you should be healing. And it appears that you are, so... 
Okay, you're in extreme pain. From... Actually, I mean, to be fair, you are cut up a lot. Yeah, okay. So that's why you can't move, because of the consciousness, right? Uh... Right leg, that right leg's keeping you down. Anyway, they should be fine. They'll run out of food, but it should be okay. He says, not really believing what he just said. I'm wondering whether I should split off, say, like two. You know what? Let's do that. Oh, I can't now because... Uh... Yeah, I should have left them separate. I should have left them separate. That was my bad. That was dumb. Uh, visitors. They have a few items to trade. A few. So not a trade caravan. Can you even... I know, Val, you're like a higher social, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, you're not, maybe not highest, but you're pretty high. Okay, so Jen is no longer capable of walking, so... Uh... Point nine days, yeah. That's much better. Much better. You'll probably starve a little bit, but you should be alright. What's a little bit of starving between friends? Uh... Where is this person that's allegedly got items to trade? Oh, it's... Wait, what was... Okay. That's weird. It's you. What have you actually got to trade? Components. I mean... <clears throat> we could grab some. Oh, medicine. Yeah, okay. We're gonna take that. Uh, you have a recurve bow paw. Well, I've got plenty of those. I don't need your help with them. Okay, so let's sell some of this crap, then. See if we make 150 bucks. Actually, we could make that on smoke leaf joints, but we're not gonna. Shoddy, poor. Okay, dead man's clothes can all just bugger off. Wow, there's a lot of stuff here that's not actually dead man's clothes. Okay, that is though. So is that. Probably all of this is. Especially the stuff. Wow, we've made, like, no money, so let's start selling our good stuff. Well, okay, if it's on the ground, they're not wearing it anyway. So... Guess it doesn't really matter if I sell it. Okay, rim positives. Excellent. And we'll sell some... Yeah, look, like, we have two poor recurve bows. Wow, so you're gonna sell yours for $104, but you only buy mine for $7.45. Holy crap. Item sell price multiplier. What the hell is that? Hmm. I mean, whatever. You can have them, though. 75, and we'll just sell some smoke leaf joints to make it to the full amount. Like, so. Uh, 143, but can't I just accept 142? Yeah. That's fine. You can keep that extra dollar. Don't spend it all at once. As soon as I hit the road, they should be good. <laughs> okay, yeah, they ran out of food. We knew that would happen. Uh, can we maybe cut the plants from here too? How are they doing? Are they resting yet? Yeah, they just started resting. That's kind of annoying because they have no food. Little pain. What's wrong with you? Little pain. Good rapper name. Uh, is it just scars? Do I have that many people with scars? You know what? I probably actually do. Like how his heart is scarred from a shiv. I ain't even mad. It's just impressive. Uh, potato plants are nearly grown. Excellente. Tomato vines are actually all grown by the looks. 
also really good. Cotton's going to need harvesting. But we do have a lot of cloth. We're pretty, uh, pretty well set up on most resources. We're kind of missing mainly wood at the moment. So there's a few of you that need food, but you're going to get back to the colony in a minute and you should be okay. Okay, dokay. I bet you Jen's not even going to join the colony. She'll just, uh. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> She'll just, uh. What do you call it? Like, pop onto the map and then be like, okay, thanks for, uh. Thanks for rescuing me. Bye. Okay, so you've arrived. Where is... Oh, God. I don't know why everything's going wrong there. Yeah, so Jen's just bugged off. Go there and rescue her. No bloody reason. Right. Yeah, so we didn't even get Jen after all that. Oh, well, I suppose. It was, uh bound to happen eventually. I kind of figured that would happen, so... Why... You know what? I'm gonna question it. No, look, see? Chip. <laughs> I was gonna say chicken's our sensible one. Orange chicken is our sensible one. Orange chicken. That's fantastic. Nice, harvest all that tomato. Domato. Uh, I'm gonna have to assign you your beds and shit again, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, chicken, you're in a relationship with someone, right? Husband, toad. Okay, so. Set owner. Uh, toad and chicken. And then. Okay, Val's got a bed, Tony doesn't have a bed. Is anyone else in a relationship? I don't think so, right? Acquaintance, bond, bond. Friends. Father and sister. So they're not going to be sleeping in the same bed. Daughter. Yeah, friend, friend, friend. Okay, doesn't matter though. Oh, I'll let them pick their own beds and then we'll assign them afterwards. Also, we absolutely need more wood. Ah, oh, we're getting some now, I guess. Yeah, you're not going to be able to, to build all the way out because we need these done. Absolutely amazed by my hospitality. Goddamn right they are. Okay, so that's done. Hang on, so, one, two, three. Two, three, one, two, five. Okay, so, <laughs> they're not going to assign more. Right, uh, Tony, you can have that bed. Uh, Rissa, you can have this bed. Now you've got three more beds, which is perfect because we have three more people. Good. Good, good, good. <laughs> Grab that. Let's go ahead and bring the taters in and the tomatoes. So I want this full. Uh, why are we not... Right, it unpauses it. Ten? Wait, where the hell did you get a fine meal? So it just unpauses. Excellent. That'll burn through some of those supplies. We do need a bigger uh, food storage area, but it's a bit awkward to expand at the moment, so. There we go. It's all covered. Nice. Okay, chicken's still an unhappy nudist. We'll, uh, we'll deal with that. Mm. 
Meanwhile, I wait for these beds to get built. To spec. By... By squint. Squint. Squint, who is a number one healer. My heart. My soul. Okay, look, Squint, can you... Yes, please. Okay, you, you, you fucked it. Cool. Hmm. Okay, let's disable that on you again. And when I say disable, I mean bump it way down the priority order. Because yes, I really want you to build these beds. Get them done. Okay, that's still not good enough. Right, unhappy nudity, tattered apparel. Tony, yours is the mesh shirt, right? Okay, well, you can just deal with it. But what's Bren's tattered apparel? Uh, it's his tunic. He's wearing a tunic and a waistcloth. Interesting. Alright, alright. Alright, alright, alright. This is turning up pretty well. We're not making a ton of progress on uh, soil reclamation, I will say, though. Would be nice to get that out of the way so we can... Uh, so we can start, you know actually expanding, because we can just place dirt over the top of everything. Okay, nice. That's a bit. Uh, squint. Congratulations. You just made your own bed. Didn't make someone else's, though. Alright, Riss is doing that. Val's managing. Excelente. And now you're back to sculpting. It's not really what I want you to be doing, though. Alright, squint, good one, failed again. How is our managing going? Okay, we got enough forestry, we need to do more foraging and... ...clear the turbines. Okay, it's fine, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good job, Squint. You stuffed it again. In fact, you stuffed both of them. Uh, Bren. Oh, okay, you're training Gaston. That's fine. Oh, he's obedient. Excellent. So let's just set you to no master so you don't follow anyone around into, like, combat or whatever. Generally bad. Uh, and right, can we... We'll just down this to, like... Fine. No, even that's too many. I think three. It says we have two in stock. Okay. What do we got? Shoddy and Paul. Excellent. <laughs> Man, if that doesn't just sum up our uh, our colony at the moment. Shoddy and poor. But, uh, that's, that's good. Alright, uh, so this is going to be Kuro's bed. Sweet. Give me more of those recurve bows. How are they coming? Okay, it's Kuro's job. Do 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 do. Bill, how have you not been hired yet? It's bad luck, I guess. It's like a 1% chance, you know? 
3.8. It's actually not bad. As far as chances to recruit go, mostly. Why would you go and eat a coconut when there's so many good meals? Because you're going to... I was going to say, are you going to whinge about eating raw food? But you actually didn't. So credit where credit's due, I guess. Uh, can I... Is this where I halve coconuts? No. Do I do it here? Garden tea garden coffee pemmican. Uh, production. Because that's a prep table. Yeah, it is. Uh, actually, let's make an oven. Since we don't have one of those. Ooh, a mini quarry. Huh, that's a new thing. Oh wow, he really updated this. Oh my god, that's amazing. So clearly in the last week since I've been here, he's updated this mod. He, she, whatever. But wow, that's really good. Shows you where you can build it. Oh my god, okay. Loving it! And actually we're gonna need a millstone too, so let's just that somewhere like there. And actually, while we're at it, we should build the dining chairs and everything. Uh, we'll do one here too, why not? And quality builder, make him at least superior. Superior is what I'm set it to, yeah? Superior, superior, yeah. Wow, a lot of work goes into an oven, apparently. Like, he gave up and started on this. I didn't set them all, didn't I? I think so. And it's in the same spot. So, here we are. That'll work for a bit. I love how they go and haul the unfinished stat, like, sculptures back out there again. That's so annoying. Okay, Val's back at the research table, which is what we want. Okay, is it a millstone? No. Why would it be? I swear to god, it's like, it's here. Make choco milk. Love me a bit of choppy milk. Make seven milks from beans. Ugh. Oh, I guess soy milk is what it is. There should be one you can like crack. Crack coconuts. You get coconut halves and milk, I'm pretty sure. Maybe I need to actually research the uh, thing down here. Possible, maybe actually have to have like coconuts unlocked. Or maybe I just need to to research the uh, the food thing. Where is the food stuff? I haven't already researched it, have I? No, where's like... Okay, so there's canning tech. Uh... Chased by tribes people. 23 years old. Can't social or artistic. Psychopath. Psychically sensitive. Yeah, no. Nah. We don't want you. Okay, so that's drugs. Nutrient based package survival meal. Wow, I might have to check my. Oh, no, hang on. Advanced cooking. There it is. Never mind. Yeah, I might need advanced cooking actually to do that. Bummer. Uh, I don't suppose that other bed got successfully built. It did! Holy shit. Uh, this is Bren's bed.
And there we go, now we have a barracks for overflow. Which is what you want. You generally don't want to live in an actual barracks. In a game like Dwarf Fortress, <coughs> sorry, it's, it's actually a legit, like, possibility because dwarves don't give a shit if they're in a barracks. Well, they do. I guess, what is in Dwarf Fortress? They don't get a negative, I think. They don't get a negative, but they don't get a positive either. Whereas if they're in their own rooms, they get a positive. Pretty sure. So it's actually a legit like, possibility to do a barracks. Not so much in this, because they always whinge about they're getting woken up and not having their own rooms. And yeah. Just not worth the hassle. Squint, dude, you really gotta, like, actually build these things. Chris, what are you doing? Oh, you had pants. What is your crafting that you're so slow at that? Seven. And you do have lots of passion for it. Yeah, working passionately. Noise! Uh, fog. Wonderful. What are you doing? You just you just chilling at the stockpile. Uh, my colonists are weird. They do some weird shit. Okay, make pants is done. Good. Uh, you know what? Let's let's get this gold out of here. Although that will up the value of my colony. Hmm. That is a thought. Party! Toad's birthday party. Ah, actually, there was something I wanted to do. In light of today, April, May, June, August, December. -y. Right, because it's like December, January, February, September. So it's in seasons, but not in seasons. Okay, so hold up, hold up, hold up. How many days in quadruple? Uh, 15 days, and they're each 5 days. So we're going to say the 6th day. 6th day of december -y. Doing the math here. Is New Year's Day. Actually, no. We're going to do the 5th, and it's going to be New Year's Eve. Uh, the 5th of April, May. And at night... Boom! There we go. Party on the 5th of April, May. Just like last night. <laughs> wow, I like having a party, they just all go up, light up a joint, and sit around a table. Shit, you know what? When you really think about it, that's what parties are. Wow, that's blowing my mind. I was like, bruh, that's not... Like, how stupid is that? And then I'm like, hang on a minute. It's... That's basically what most parties are. You, you drink, talk, play games, usually drinking games, and sit around a table talking. Maybe light up a joint if you're that way inclined. Hmm. Wow, it's just blown my mind. That's a really abstract way of showing a party, but that's basically what it is. It's a nice, well, I mean, it's not a nice guest room, it's mediocre, so it's some nice plant pots in here. And... Okay, what if I put an end table? Hang on, hang on. If I put an end table just, like, in... As long as it makes the nearby beds a little bit more comfortable. It must be placed directly adjacent to their head, okay. So I should maybe put dresses in here, right? You know what, let's do that. We're gonna add a dresser. You know, we're we're uh getting a bit more you know, a bit more civilized. Build some dresses. Doop and superior. I should have made those superior too, but uh actually, actually. Here's a thought. Let's not do that, and we'll just make them at least normal. These two, though, oops, I want them superior, for sure. 
If they're going to be in the guest quarters, I want the guest quarters to be amazing. Also, this is no longer necessary, right? Because we have medical quarters. So that can go away. Don't need that medical bed, it's just crowding everything out. Excellent, our dining chairs are done. Got crafting chairs. Squid, how can you possibly make things that aren't normal? What level are you again? I ask this like every time. What level are you? Yeah, about... S you're level 13. That's... Stupid. That you're not, uh... Not able to just make normal stuff automatically. Uh, birthday party, nice. A lot of birthday parties in, uh, old Jugist. A lot of birthdays. I don't know what is outside my window, but I wish it would bugger off. Hmm. Alright. Bit a little bit slow progress, mainly due to the uh the, the soil reclamation being things, but we're, we're getting there. This is actually starting to look like a decent place to live. Ish. <laughs> um, mm, we could set up some defenses and actually make it a productive episode. But I don't even know where. Oh yeah, and the marshy soil kind of makes it hard. Hmm. makes it very difficult to set up a a proper kind of defensive network. Um, okay, here's a thought. What have we got in terms of building materials? Uh, lots of bamboo. Good. Good. Let's make bamboo. Let's go out to say here. Uh, I want you to mine out this. Yeah, I think that'll do. If I go, where did this come from here? So let's go. Uh. Okay, I actually want to go from here. Let's go up to there. Build like a wall across here somewhat and down. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of bamboo, holy crap. We do have a lot of bamboo sort of ready to go though, so that should be alright. Should be fine. Gaston, are you trained up yet? Oh shit, you actually are. I said that disparagingly, like, ugh, are you trained up yet? But you are. You actually should be hauling, so that's good. Right. Ooh, alpacas. Alpaca. We should get some. Uh, you know what? Let's do that. Alpacas attack on a failed attempt? Doesn't seem right. I suppose it could be. I don't know, I can't say I've known many alpacas. You, you know, socially or professionally. <laughs> uh, will you guys please not do what you're doing right now? Uh, mine. Mine, mine, mine. Kuro, you'll do. Mine that, please. So that they can actually get in. No. Man, hunter pack. Excellent. Manhunting Labrador Retrievers. No! Doggies. Shit, okay, they're coming from a direction I don't really like. Okay, well this is... This has decided it for me that I'm going to set up a thing there. That's a lot of fucking manhunters. Okay. 
Everyone needs to get down here as quick as they possibly fucking can. Which for you two is is never, so let's just do it that way. Because I want people on turrets. At least for now. Fuck, that's a lot of dogs. And they could legit be fucking deadly enough. Okay. Go there, go there, go there. You go like. Actually, just go there, it's fine. Here they come! Release the hounds! Wow, we're like fucked. Holy shit. Holy shit. We didn't even kill one. Of course Rissa died, like one of the most useful people here. Yeah, Jesus. You guys are really messed up. Man, would you just kill that Labrador? Holy crap. I wonder we got wrecked. Ah, uh, finish off, please. Dead. Jesus. I don't think we can survive this. Go over here, because we got some coming. Squint is no longer incapable of walking. Yeah, but you really should though. Just just stay down, Squint. Fucking you're not incapable of walking, but you're not gonna get away. Alright, go get him, team up. There goes Bren. And Tony will be soon to follow. Ooh, man! I don't think I've ever been messed up by a Manhunter pack like this. Maybe we really should wall it off. Because we really don't have the guns for like a pack like this. I, I'm really loath to reload the game, but at the same time, I don't want it to end like this. It's such a good run. I just, I don't know. Because it's probably, they probably won't die, he says, maybe, but they are bleeding a lot. Death and 16, death and 12. No immediate danger. Really? No immediate danger? Wow, you are the biggest pussy ever then. Why are you unconscious? Oh, it's just the pain. Right. Yeah, no, okay. It, it's just the pain that's, that's knocked you down. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, death in 16, death in 15, death in 15, death in 12, and death. Yeah, okay, they probably will die just because these, <clears throat> these bastard dogs aren't gonna, like, go to sleep before. 
or I die. So, what we're going to do is we will, uh... We will, uh... We'll reload to just before this, which will change the event, which is what bothers me more. I mean, if you could reload and get the same event, it wouldn't annoy me as much to reload, and it wouldn't be as much of an annoyance for you guys, because like, I wouldn't be changing it and potentially making it easier. But then what we're going to do is I'm going to wall off everything. This will be the main approach, and we'll completely wall off this side. Oh, I mean, it wouldn't save us against the pack of dogs, because they would just get through the machine guns. But anyway, completely wall off this side. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep doing what I'm doing up here, and we'll think of something down here. I might wall it off mostly. Kind of like that. If you look at the bottom edge and the right edge. Something like that, maybe. And then leave like an opening in the middle here or something. So it's still the easiest path. That might be what we do. But anyway, uh, the darkest timeline has, has reasserted itself again, but we'll fix that in a minute. So thank you very much everyone for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you think you know any friends that might enjoy my content, make sure you share a video or two with them. I really appreciate it. And finally, 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 if you want to have any hints, tips, tricks, uh, plans for the base, or the colony rather, um, feedback for the videos, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do so in the comment section down below so I can see it. And I'll see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.